Welcome back guys, Plants vs. Zombies 2, this is, um, well, in the last video I got a little sidetracked from doing my big wave beach missions and went on the side mission for 50 gems. So even though this is big wave beach, this is actually level 6 out of 10 that I'm playing to get the 50 gems and apparently we're bowling again. I'm gonna wear some bowling shoes. Man, we used to have so much fun down at Showtime Bowl in Athens, Georgia. I've got a lot of great memories there. Including the one about the chicken sandwich. I'm curious. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that one, but... Excuse me. I'm tempted to tell it again, just in case, like, anybody hasn't heard it, but... I don't know. Well, now anybody who hasn't heard it is gonna be like, Yeah, how am I supposed to know which video you told that story and tell it again? I don't know. It was a pretty good man. Well, there's so many good memories there, though. Are we just going to end up talking about the bowling alley for this video, or what? Well, here we go. The memory is basically that we ordered, because the bowling alley had, like, a bar in it. So you could get food and nachos or whatever. I guess a lot of bowling alleys have that, though. But they had, like, chicken sandwiches there, and they were so good. And I remember my mom ordering one for me. And when the lady brought it to us, my mom said to the waitress or whatever you even call it. She's not a waitress, but she brought it over and my mom said, you know, if you could get some mayonnaise for Tim, I'm sure he would be eternally grateful. And I remember thinking at the time, what are the odds that I actually will be eternally grateful? You know, because you say things like that, you don't always mean it though, you know, it's like one of those expressions. Well, here it is. What is it now? <laughs> here it is, what, like 20 years later? I still remember that day. I still remember her saying that. And I'm still eternally grateful for the mayonnaise she brought that day. Because that chicken sandwich was so freaking good. Man, I could go for a chicken sandwich right now, man. But yeah. So I guess I always will be eternally grateful for that mayonnaise. Because I'm not going to forget the memory now. Not if I'm sitting here telling it 20 years later. So yeah, good times. The other memory that sticks out to me was when me and Chris and Beverly went to play pool there. Because at the time, I had this crush on Beverly, and she had a crush on Chris, and both were pretty much unrequited, so... Even though Chris acted like he liked her, and he probably got some jollies out of it or whatever, you know, because of the whole... <laughs> because of the whole Mega Man 5 story where he was in the bedroom doing it with her, and I could hear them in there. And I was sitting outside playing Mega Man 5. So when I wrote about it in my journal, I said, he sat in there and did it with her, and I did it with Mega Man, part 5. Good lord. Anyway, but that day that we were in the bowling alley, we were playing pool. And I remember just trying so freaking hard to be good and to impress her, you know, at it. To impress her at the game and all that. I don't even remember how I did. Like, if I won, I'm pretty sure I probably didn't, but... You know, because pool is just one of those games... I love it, but I always lose. I guess we've all been in situations like that, though, where you were stuck... trying to impress a girl and just failing miserably, even at a game that you like. There was some other time that... Oh, they used to have a game called Cruise It Well. Uh, I say a game called Cruise in USA as if you've never heard of that or something, but you know, when they first came out, the bowling alley was like the only place you could play it. And back then, 3D and video games was a pretty big deal, so it was like really fun. So anyway, this one day, me and Beverly were actually playing at two players, and she had recently been pulled over by a cop in real life for something, I don't know, probably speeding or whatever. She did tend to speed a lot in that little red car of hers. So this one day I was playing it side by side with her, and I saw a cop in the game. And I just like, jammed on the gas, I just hammered the gas and ran right into that cop and destroyed him. And I started like, I was all like, oh, I just had to! You know, so they're pretending like, nobody knows why you really did that or something. I mean, it's so obvious. Once again, you're trying to impress her, trying to show her that you can protect her from the big bad cops, you know? Because you're such a freaking hero. Good lord, I just love 
hating on my past self because I know what he was thinking and I know all the reasons why he does the stupid things he does. As Everclear would say. Good old Everclear, man. We used to listen to them a lot too. I know all the stupid things you say and who you say them to. I believe that's from a song called Sunflowers, but I'm not totally sure. <laughs> We had so many albums we listened to back then. It's Chumbawamba Tub Thumping. I don't know if I mentioned, but recently I kind of put that back on again in my car. Listened to it a couple times and took it back out. This just wasn't the same as it used to be, I guess. Sure, you bring back the memories and all, but after that... I mean, everything after the eighth song on that, I don't really care for. So, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, Mary Mary is all like loud ass rap. Small Town is okay, even though it sounds like I'm in love by Aretha Franklin. And then, uh, I want more. I guess you can kind of get that shit. We're, we have trouble, we have problems here. At least we got the lawnmowers. Anyway. <laughs> and then the last song on it is called Scapegoat, and that one's just like pure pop. It's like, considering the message of the song, you wouldn't expect it to have such a friendly melody, is all. You know, it just bothers me that the melody is so nice and friendly, even though they're singing about something like... Might as well speed this up. Even though they're singing about, like... Whatever. Scapegoats and all. This is when, you know, when songs have, like, lyrics that aren't happy, but the music is happy, that always bothers me. Or something. See, I grew up in that generation that had the parents who said that Last Kiss by Pearl Jam sucked. You know, because of the original was so much better. And we would say, well, why do you like the original? It's a sad song. It's supposed to sound sad. And I still believe that, even though technically, I guess that's not all there is to a song. Anyway, so I haven't said a thing about the game yet. Well, if we're going into World South, I guess we're going into Blind here to see what these next four worlds look like. So this is I uh, Frostbite Caves, I assume. Oh man, look at those guys. <laughs> oh, it's picking my plants for- oh jeez. Wait a minute, what's- Okay, this is weird. There's a- there's like a transparent sunflower there. What is he trying to tell me here? That I can only plant... Yeah. Okay, there's one on the bottom too. That's weird. Can I like plant anything else? I can't plant something else there. Can I plant something else somewhere else? Like... Here. No, no, wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's just those two... Oh, those are... Oh, I didn't even... Oh, my God. You guys are going to be screaming at the monitor. Oh, my God. Those are encased in ice. They're not just sitting out there transparently. Huh. It looks like the lawnmowers are... Oh, no, no. That's just an animation. So I guess if you put a fire pulp in there, or a fire pea shooter, why did I put that there? To, uh... <laughs> Those little bee things are kind of hilarious, whatever they're doing. It's like they're burping, it's like they're farting out of their mouths, basically. So I would say that's just a burp, but it seems too simple. I'm guessing the fire pea shooters next to the ice melted. Seems to be what's happening here. And it looks like the holes in the ground caused the zombies to change lanes. But I'm not sure if it's random or... It doesn't look like you can get rid of them. Let's see what these guys do. Ooh. Diagonally, huh? That's cool. You could definitely imagine some interesting scenarios. 
revolving around that. I think we're gonna need a walnut here. Yep. Good job. Good job, walnut. So where's he gonna go? He's going up. Oh, man. Well, I was on a roll talking about those memories a minute ago, but now I'm, like, concentrating. <laughs> so I'm, like, unfamiliar with what's going on. Thank goodness that worked. But, yeah, I'll just... Uh, put you over there. Okay, good. This is really sloppy, but so far, so good, I guess. Only a matter of seconds or time, whatever, before... Oh, he's gonna get that one, isn't he? No, he isn't! Good. Whoa, whoa, what's, what, what is that? What is this, chill penguin? Huh. That's freaky. Oh, those are strong, too. Those take a lot of hits. Good. Well, the ones inside don't seem nearly as... Like, once they're thawed out, they don't seem to be as bad. Yeah, that first row is gonna need some help. Dear God. Good old plant food. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of the kayak zombies in the first game a little bit. I remember using jalapenos on them all the time. Those jalapenos. Okay, what's the bird doing here? Falling into the ice and dying, that's what he's doing. Wait, what is... Hang on, oh, oh, he's throwing snowballs at me. That's not cool, dude. Three fire shooters ought to be enough to... I don't know, I mean... <laughs> we'll get some more of these out here. I wonder what plant food on those will do. I'll find out in a second here. Man, I'm having a really hard time, like, seeing my cursor, following where my cursor is. If I stop moving for a second, I forget where it is. So I'm just watching the action. And when I go to move it, I can't find where my cursor is again. <laughs> so what's going on here? There's a lot of color in this thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh-wee. Look at all that damage. Boom. And he got up really close to that helicopter, whatever that was. I don't know what those things are. Uh, we're okay, though. There's a lot of firepower going out there. They're coming again with those things. God, they're coming out of four rows this time. Target! Maximum firepower! Goodness, we have three fires on that top row, and now we only have two. Let's put one there. Man, these are really... I mean, we're holding them back so far, but I'm worried. I'm guessing if they manage to get up to where your plants are, they can just push the ice right over and instantly kill your plant. Or whatever happens to be there. Man. Good job on row three, you guys. Good job hanging in there with them plants. Or with them fires. Look at this, I think we did it. Some helicopters are definitely helping out. Man, I wonder what those are called. Really cool. Bloop. Hmm. Well, <laughs> a slightly underwhelming victory, but I will be anxious to see what the rest of that world looks like. Or what's going on there? Stall, stall, and stall again with a glorious stallia. Okay. Sounds cool. <laughs> I guess I could be going faster here. Oh, wow. Oh wow, what is that? Is that Stalia? Zero Sun. Hmm. Okay then. I suppose we could. Oh well. Oh no. Just standard 
crap here, I don't know. I'm not sure what my sun situation is going to look like. I mean, I guess it's going to be good, but still. It doesn't mean we have to go throwing all the heavy artillery out here. Heavy Quest Gem Jam, step eight. That's what we're doing. Do -do 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 -do. This is interesting music. Okay. Okay, so it drops the sun. That's interesting. Okay, it's throwing a lot of zombies out here. For this early in the level, dear god. Dear god indeed. <laughs> I don't know, let's put some corn here. We'll have a cherry bomb to take care of the top two. Parachute ruin? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Crap. He got the flower. He just dug that thing right up, too. <laughs> okay, I think we're okay here. Balder ass. He's a chili bean here. I'm not sure. I, I guess the point of those is just to stall them. Okay, it poisons them. God, what am I doing on the top row here? Crap. Oh, there's... What can I do? Just let the lawnmower get him now. Oh, in the bottom row. Okay, I'm not paying attention at all. I don't understand this level. <laughs> poop. You can poop. Let's do that for a second here. So we can figure something out. We're not... I feel like George McFly. Nothing's coming to my mind. I really would have liked to leave that somewhere else, but... There was too much imminent danger. He dropped sun that time. That's weird. I'm assuming it only does that when you plant it on the sun tiles? I don't know. Yeah, that was good. We still got work to do here. Oh, that top row's dead again. Oh, he is in the middle of... Oh, corn pulp. The little corn pulp that could. He's in the middle of getting dug up and he's still fighting. Still fighting despite having the cruel, cold metal of that shovel digging into his midsection. Just can't get enough, man. Oh, poor little thing, it died anyway. I was kind of hoping when he died, maybe his shovel would despawn. And... Oh. Yeah, I'm crying. Well,. Oh my god, check out what I didn't even Oh, dude, how was she there all that time? Check out this girl zombie here. All dressed up like Beauty and the Beast here, man. <laughs> man, this music. Oh, I really need blovers. Oh boy. Let's do that. Oh, gee, that didn't even one shot. Uh, we're gonna have to let the lawnmowers do this. Once again. Oh, gee. What was that over there that was all set up? We got like these campers. Shit, I, I should have done that on top. I could just let the lawnmower finish off the three. Row three. But now, let's see what this does. Boy, that really slows them down. Look at that. Those things are going really, really slow. Like, ice is nothing compared to that. Good lord. Eat that chili bean nice and slow, and when your fart comes, it'll be less of a load. Mm. I can't believe this music is so intense. So did we actually do that? I can't believe we won that. Like, look at my screen right now. One sunflower, one corn pulp. It's all lawnmowers, pretty much. Here goes level 9 now. Oh, this looks nice and sleek. Looks like a dance floor. Holy crap, look at these zombies! This, all I can look at right now is that Bon Jovi zombie, or whatever that is. I can't tell if that's Bon Jovi or Ann Wilson from Heart. 
Maybe it's a combination of the two. That's just crazy, man. I'm just gonna go with this here. This ought to be good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be good in this level. I think I'm just gonna try, like, four columns of corn pulse. And just see what happens. I figure the odds of butter have got to be pretty good if you got four of them on each row. This is going to take me forever to put these down. <laughs> uh, well, it'll be worth it once we see the outcome. Once we see them come out. So, last stand, let's do it. Put this on fast forward. Get through these as quickly as possible here. I mean, not that I want to just rush it at all, but... Man. Dang, dude, this is like the... Well... I want to say it's like the rock concert sort of level? I don't know, man. It's cool as hell, though. Got these arcade machines all up in here. Oh, no, do we have more torn... Oh, that's freaky the way they're frozen like that. Oh. Did they throw your shit back at you like the other ones do? Oh my god, look at the 8-bit zombies! Oh! That is so cool! This is bad. I'm already down to one plant food here. And we got like two big waves still to come. I have to. I have to do it now. I don't know what else to do. What in the world are those? I'm leaving like a rainbow trail behind them. Oh, there's two. This is way too cool. Yet at the same time. Yeah, splash that 8 bit bucket head. Oh, well, here we go. Now that Bon Jovi's here, we'll just be living on a prayer. I almost think I should just restart this and not even bother. Is it. Is it what is that? Oh, that guy with the whip is like. Oh, uh, I'm not sure what his deal is, but <laughs> let's just see how this plays out. I mean, it's, well, it doesn't even matter now. Well, actually, it, no, no, now that we have some more on row two and three, it definitely doesn't matter. We've definitely lost this. Man, I can't believe those 8-bit zombies. That looks crazy. They even move at like a slower frame rate. Goes the one on top. I'm not even sure why. Yeah, we're just gonna restart this. Yup. Okay, I guess I'll just jump right back in here. This setup, this setup, seems to be working a little bit better. They just got one of my potato mines though. Throw a couple more out here. Not exactly the best idea. So we're up to the like the final wave here, just about. Still have some plant food. I can't believe I had to use two of those to get rid of that thing. Maybe I didn't really have to. Yeah, but we haven't lost any lawnmowers yet, which is the big thing. Oh boy. Um, what in the world did he smash? There's nothing over there. Is he smashing his own kind? Oh yeah, this top row. Oh, he's... Oh, that's what he's doing! He's like causing a quake in the ground. That quake is going out to the plants and destroying them. Boy! They don't mess around on these later levels, do they? Like, the way that zombies can destroy plants instantly now without having to stop and eat them. Without having to even go up to them. did it. I'm hesitant to say we did anything there, but, well, okay. So let day 10. Let's get this over with. Sorry if I'm hurrying a little bit. This is a little bit, um, <laughs> I just don't want this video to get too long, but then again, nobody's ever really complained about that, so. 
Oh, is it like the snow? It's the um, ice snapdragon is what it is. I recognize him. I didn't see what the gimmick of this... You're not serious, right? Are those what I... Th oh, well. Okay. Let me try that again. <laughs> Oops. Okay, here we go. I mean, I guess that's what I get for not reading. Not paying attention. Can I plant, like, my own plants on there? Yeah. Okay, so basically we're on the front lines here. This is like saving Private Ryan. Put that out there. It's yet another iteration of walnuts. <laughs> How nice. So with this we have all- oh, 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 oh yeah, there comes the dinosaur. I'm gonna put some spikes on you. Yeah. Bellow in pain. The ox bellows. In the words of Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy VI. Put you right there. Oh man, that poor dinosaur. I almost feel bad, you know? Except I'm not invested in his life. Maybe I should be. Maybe I should learn his story. They don't give you a lot of plants here, but then it doesn't seem like you really need them. Snapdragons are tearing it up. And the spike weed, or whatever that is. It's metal spike. Oh, gee, there's one up there. Should I put this... Put it right there. Yeah, we don't need to be messing around here. Little walnuts are pretty tough. I've seen so far. Okay, we got one more. We'll put it down here. Oh, we got that one in the middle. Shoot, sorry, little guy. <laughs> I didn't mean to ignore you like that. We'll, we'll just replenish you. Might even plant this. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Arnold Schwarzenegger says, "What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age." But. That guy seems to be immune to the ice. He wasn't turning blue. Unless, of course, the reason he didn't turn blue is because he was in his dying animation, which I have to assume was probably the case there. These walnut things are taking, like, a lot of hits to kill for the gargantuar. That's nice. I know the metal spikes also take three hits to kill. So they're a good way to stall. It's too bad you can't use those on Big Wave Beach, boy, I tell you. I guess if the tide was out, you could. That might be something worth remembering in the future. When we go back. You know, because we're going to have to go back. You know. Man, this guy's having the hell of a time. If he would just run through. Oh, crap. Okay. You thought I wasn't ready. You thought I... Ooh. I wasn't ready, you said. Wasn't paying attention, you said. I don't even know. Should I put another one out there? Does it even matter? Whatever the... I mean, he's taking his time dying. <laughs> just, these guys have definitely got some health on them. Look at that bald-ass head, too. Pack that pain in. There we go. That's better. I should have fast-forwarded sooner. Anyway, that does it. That's all 10 days. Give me my 50 gems. Gem poetry, you scoundrels. No matter, my plans proceed apace. Apace? <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's it for the Epic Gem Quest. We will be back to regular Big Day Beach in the next video. Starting with Day 21. See you guys then.